cuties how is everyone doing i hope everyone is well okay um i'm here to do a, a kind of like a haul and a demo and a review okay um but before i get into that i want to say thank you to all my new subscribers thanks very much for subbing i had quite a few person subbing after i did the outfit of the day so i guess persons like that so i'll try to do more outfit of the day videos okay so i got the bh um cosmetic foundation and i got i got 10 shades because i want to use them in to build my kit but the two that i wanted to try for myself are i got the d3 which is deep cocoa and d4 which is deep beige and i tried both and to me the deep cocoa works okay, so the i find with the deep cocoa the sorry the deep beige when i put it on it was nice and everything but then when they went out it kind of looked darker which and i guess it also does or whatever so um when I tried the the deep cocoa then that was fine after I applied it and stuff and went on and stuff it was still fine so right I guess I will stick with the deep cocoa um okay so about the foundation it says that it's a liquid foundation and it provides medium to full coverage for soft flawless looking skin um it, it also says our unique fragrance free is also lightweight a lightweight formula it creates a long lasting finish for our daily or professional studio wear okay so in my opinion it says it's a medium to full but i think it's sheer to medium but that's just my opinion um because if you use like prolong wear matte prolong wear and you use revlon color stay to me those foundations are medium to full coverage because i think one application of those foundations will like cover all your blemishes and any hyper pigmentation you have in your skin but with this they had to use like a pump and a half almost two okay but it is to me it's it is lightweight though although you use that much it, it doesn't feel like cakey on my skin and to me it doesn't look cakey i'm not sure how it's coming off in the camera but it doesn't look cakey either okay and i set it i set it using ben knife chestnut and topaz in the highlighted areas before which in that was well it didn't um it stayed and stuff yes they got oily but i just like got tissue and dab and it was fine and then another time i used the studio fix finish and the care blend okay from matte and that too worked well and to prime i used the milk of magnesia and i used the matte or control lotion yeah my milk of magnesia bottle a hot mess but yeah the original one and some persons were asking what well, as far as for, for the oil control is for controlling the oil it's used as a primer okay oh my feet going to sleep oh yeah so about the so i would say yes it's soft yeah and yeah i would say flawless looking too although but when you put on the powders and stuff it will finish help um conceal any marks or whatever so yeah it would say flawless as well um it's not matte to me though it has like a dewy finish so if you like really like matte foundations or you like the matte look um you could try it but it's kind of dewy which in i like matte but i'll still try it i like the matte look but i'll still try this and see how it go and for the price it was four dollars and fifty cents us it was it's not bad to give it a try okay um fragrance free once say it's fragrance free it smells a bit like nivea cream to me but that's just to me it smells like N nivea cream and long lasting mm, it's not it's not quite as i would want it but it's not bad i guess like four hours and then you will go start like 
stabbing and or even before that because here in the in Barrow, this weather is hot so i can be like dabbing after five minutes so but all in all it's a good foundation and what i got also what i got also for my kit is the the automatic eyebrow pencils yeah that's what it looks like and this is in brunette they also got soft brunette and they also got blonde then I got all five of the concealers that they carry and I also use them in the demo but they dry so quickly and um, we gotta move really quick like just do one put it to one side and then work don't put it to this side and this side and work here and then get back there because when you get back there it's like dry and hard and hard to move so it's really good to me as a concealer because it sets really really good i mean like i was testing them when i first got them and put them on my hand and i i left them and when i went to rub them off it was like so much stress getting them off so that's really really good in a concealer that it sets and it's like a cream to a powder to me it's like a cream to a powder see how nice you don't have to mark heavy just a light straw and it and it gone on and that's the fear then you have the olive I'm sure if you can see the difference but I won't show you all and the darkest one is dark and to me this have like a the dark have like a slight peachy light look to me so I was saying it would work well as a corrector as well as a concealer yeah so i'm liking these a lot and uh, due to the fact that they they set and they but when i tried them they didn't crease so because they set so good and it's like a cream to a powder finish it yeah it didn't crease so that's good and i think one was three dollars and fifty cents and the the eyeshadow eyebrow pencil sorry the eyebrow pencil i think those were 352 but you can check out the bh cosmetic co sorry you can check out the bh cosmetic.com website and they're they have great um eyeshadows and other cosmetics but this is relatively new i think it came out earlier this year and it's not bad for a first try they could try to give us one that is a little more matte because to me this formulation is a dewy finish so if they can go again and bring another one that's matte and not and get rid of the fragrance and you know make it a little more long lasting it will be a hit but this is nice this is nice I like it what did I want to see oh you you must prime though you must prime because if you don't prime it's gonna be too too dewy to the to the point where it looks oily and you don't want to look oily okay even coming off in the camera it looks a bit dewy <laughs> you know if we like that summer glow and also use the the sleek contour kit and i use the highlight to like on my on in my highlighted areas i use the shimmery the shimmer color yeah so that give it the added glow but that's not how it is naturally that's just because i added that but yeah i think that's basically it so i got 10 of the shades i think it's when they first came there were only eight or ten but now there are 12 shades so you will find your shade and another thing it like is not too yellow and it's not too red it's a nice neutral foundation okay and also i got some glitters from them as well okay some really nice colors this one is sky blue they come in little packaging yes yeah, so it is sky blue it's, it's, it's a really nice turquoise light color it has like it reflects different colors it's like green and stuff it reflects green and blue like different shades of blue different shades of green then magneta which is like a 
looks like a future to me but it's magneta it's a nice pink I got sapphire which is my daughter's middle name sapphire <laughs> which is a really nice blue and then my favorite this is so sweet it's lime green this is gorgeous yeah, so I got these to add to my glitter collection. So I'm gonna try these out. I also got the the elf. What's the name of it? It's like a setting liquid though. So I'm gonna try using that on with the glitter to set them and probably do a tutorial with these. Okay, sweetie, so that's it for my, well, it's not really a haul because I didn't want to show every color foundation. But if you want to and want swatches, you can let me know if you want that and I will do it for you so you can see the different color colors that they carry. But for right now, this is the Deep Cocoa and this is the Deep Beige. Okay, Deep Beige is a bit darker than Deep Cocoa okay so i want to thank you for watching ladies keep commenting keep subscribing i really appreciate it and because you know i'm from barbados we're not accustomed doing all these two beauty videos and stuff so i really appreciate the response i'm getting from persons all over the world because it's not only persons from barbados that are subbing it's persons from us uk whatever so i really appreciate that you guys are subbing and commenting and liking my videos yeah so um oh i i mentioned when i was getting the this, this senegalese twist that i would have done some styling videos but it's so much hair and when i pin it up i usually have to get my hubby to help me so that's not gonna happen but otherwise i just like roll the top today and pin it in and just let it down so that's this is how you can do it on my own because it's not like a whole lot of pinning up okay but when i have to like pin it up like all the hair up it you know my little hands it's give me a lot of trouble so i usually have to get a bit to give me a hand so sorry about that guys and i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with me here next I'm not sure <laughs> okay so that's enough rambling thanks for watching appreciate it guys thanks bye